This is the amazing Cerro de los Siete Colores. It's 9 a.m. in Purmamarca. It's a little bit cold, as you can see by my jacket, my hat, and my breath. But today I want to climb the Cerro de los Siete Colores and show you the best spots to see these red mountains, as well as show you around Purba Marca a little bit because it's a very cool town. Straight behind me at the start of this road is the bus station. So if you go straight down the road from the bus station, you are going to run into the cemetery of Purba Marca. It's the first cemetery I've seen in such a desert climate. So it's really interesting to see it with the red mountain backdrop. I'm just barely beginning the hike and already I feel overwhelmed with the beauty. The colors of these mountains are incredible. I don't know if there's really seven, but it doesn't matter. Apparently, each color represents a different mineral, which represents a different time period. So this whole area used to be underwater. So each color represents the time period and how long ago that it was underwater. There is one main road, which is much more obvious, but every once in a while, there are small little paths that jut off. And it's been fun just going up and exploring a little. You can't really go too far, but just to see the mountains a little bit closer and get some cool photos. It's worth it to just take a few extra minutes and go explore those little paths because this place is amazing. It's pretty incredible to be walking through these really, really red mountains and then look off into the distance and you see that the mountains are green and brown and other colors. Every view is stunning. Like, I feel like I've only gone a little bit, but I'm taking so long because I'm taking so many photos and videos. Every stop is like a photo moment. I just ran into some people from Buenos Aires and they said you have to come back in the afternoon because the colors are completely different when the sun is a different place. Right now it's about 10 o'clock, so the sun is over there, but apparently when the sun comes to this side and reflects all the light on this massive red mountain, it's supposed to be incredible, so I think I'm gonna try that. The path is actually super quick. I'm almost back to the town already. I can already see cars. I can already see the buildings and the town. So that took me like 45 minutes and I was going slow because I was stopping a lot. I think coming back in the afternoon will be no problem because it's really close. The circuit ends at the Mirador, so you can actually go either way. You can start at the Mirador and go around to the cemetery or you can start where I did at the cemetery, go around and end at the Mirador. So now I'm gonna go up there so you can look down on the city. The entrance to go up to the Mirador is 50 pesos. So that's like 25 cents. It's definitely worth the 50 pesos. The view from up here is pretty amazing. You can look down over the city. It's a really small town, but it's really cool to see it from above and then all around. You can see as the colors in the mountains change. It's definitely like a rainbow. I think there's probably seven colors at least. I just spotted another little path straight ahead of me that goes right up in a valley. So I'm gonna go over there and see what that looks like, what the view is like up top. Well, I made it up to the top of that hill. I'm slightly out of breath, but it's amazing up here because there is nobody around. So I can just look 360 degrees. I'm completely by myself. I can see the Mirador where I just came from straight ahead. And there's actually a couple little paths this way. So I might do a little cheeky exploring over there. Okay, this is Amazing. I'm just climbing to this tiny little peak. I'm up here all by myself. It doesn't feel dangerous. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall or anything like that, but you can see the whole city from this side. It doesn't cost 50 pesos to climb up here, but man, it's beautiful. Wow. 
Well, it looks like I have to come down because I just got a whistle yelled at me, so maybe I'm not supposed to be here. It doesn't feel dangerous, but I guess it's not allowed. So I'm coming down. It's about 11 o'clock now, so I'm gonna head back into the small town of Purmamarca to show you what the town center looks like. Purmamarca is really interesting because a lot of people come here just for one day to see the little town and also to see the mountain. I'm staying a week, however, so I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite things to do. Because it's a place that people come to just one day, you'll notice a lot of rhythms of the city. So this is what it looks like at eight in the morning. This is what it looks like at three in the afternoon. And this is what it looks like in the late afternoon, early evening, when everyone has gone home. Right in the center of town is the main plaza and all around that plaza are little tables selling amazing textiles, sweaters, anything. But if you want to do shopping, this is the place to do it. I did my Purma Marca shopping on the first day I was here. I couldn't resist. So now I'm going to go to my favorite place to have a coffee because it's the only cafe right in the middle of this square and it's perfect for people watching. I've actually been to this cafe a couple times because I love where it's located. It's always sunny. Sometimes a guy comes and plays guitar. So the ambiance is always really nice. I just come here to read a book and relax and hang out because for me, this is the most peaceful spot in Purma Marca, in the town center. Just behind me is La Iglesia Santa Rosa de Lima. just went in, it's very small, very cute, and the ceiling and a lot of the wood is made with the cactus wood that they use here that has a lot of the holes in it. I'm starting to get a bit hungry, so I'm gonna go grab something to eat. A lot of the restaurants in Purva Marca are peñas, which means that there's live music while you eat, and they are very cool. I've been to several for both lunch and dinner. But the food that I wanna get right now is actually street food. It's a tortilla rellena, so I'm gonna go see what flavors they have. They're generally around 200 pesos each, so it's a great affordable street food and it's so delicious. So I got a tortilla with cheese, tomato, and albahaca, not alpaca, which I guess is more like oregano. I'm kind of tired of eating so much alpaca and meat, so I wanted something vegetarian, and I'm very excited to try this one. And by the way, this is amazing. This is the best lunch you can get for 200 pesos. The flavor is rich, it's nice and warm, it's delicious, and it fills you up. I wanted to see if there was another lookout point where I could see the entire view of the Red Mountains. So I just asked a local guy who owns a shop over here and he said that yes, just cross the highway, go through those two signs, and then there's like a zigzag path. I'm gonna try it and see if I can get to the top. And if so, I imagine the view is probably pretty amazing. Some parts are definitely steep, so I'm just gonna stop here to take a little rest on this rock. It's pretty windy as I get higher, but as you can see, the view back here is absolutely spectacular. I'm gonna keep, oh, oh, almost lost my hat. So I'm gonna keep following this little zigzag path. Yeah, and try to get to the top. Well, I've reached pretty much as far as the path goes. I can't go up anymore. I would say this hike is great. It has fantastic views, but it's not for people who are afraid of heights. It's not for beginner hikers because you definitely have to grab on some rocks at certain points. And if you get vertigo easily or you're afraid of heights, it might be a little bit too tricky. But if you're up for a little adventure, then yeah, it's fantastic. Well, this was definitely the best place to get an entire view of the Red Mountains, of the Seven Colored Mountains. Now I wanna head back over to the circle to see if the sun being in a different spot has changed anything. So I'll see you there. And I'm back. It's almost three o'clock and I came back to the side of the mountain to see what it looks like when the sun is shining directly on it. And they were not wrong because 
The mountains are so red and you can see the different colors of the rainbow. It's absolutely incredible, as is the rest of Purimamarca. I love this city so much and not just Purimamarca, I love all of Hujuy, everything I've seen is incredible. So if you want to see another day trip from Purimamarca, click on this video here and you can see the hike to Garganta de Diablo right outside of Tilcara. Why not?